have something behind us. It's a race car. It's not an Indy car, though. This might be the coolest thing in the paddock. This is a Honda CRV hybrid racer. We took a very lovely IndyCar engine powertrain and we added our own hybrid system. And the right car seemed a CRV, which is, that's a hybrid. So we wanted to take it and make Something that sort of is Group B meets CRV meets why not? <laughs> so CRV hybrid racer or the beast. So because what you really need is 800 horsepower in your CRV. Yeah. That seems adequate. Yeah. As a, a adequate I think. starting point. Starting point. Okay. So and then it's just something for our engineers to play with, which is awesome. That's what we're meant to do. So David, we have carbon fiber. We have chromoly. We have wild aerodynamics. Tell us about how the front of this car came to be. Okay, so basically there is a space frame underneath. So it's a real racing car underneath. But we, we put the CRV, it's designed with the CRV silhouette. Um, it's actually sort of carbon, but also a bit of, the top is all steel out of the CRV. So it's a real CRV, which is pretty cool. Um, we've got all the cooling, we'll unbuckle it. Let's, let's take it off. Come zoom in, there's some art here. So this is all GT3, NSX GT3 suspension. Uh, steering rack, everything out the NSX GT3. We have the IndyCar coolers here, radiators, heat exchangers, etc. And then we have a beautiful space frame. And then we, we made the car space frame, and then all this was fabricated at Ohio to hold the body panels which is all carbon fiber, all that sort of stuff. So there's some nice art going on in there, I think, isn't it? It's quite pretty. This is, why don't we look at some of the crazy bits, what you love the most? Buried in there is a current IndyCar engine. So that is the current IndyCar engine, which is sort of hidden, um, attached rigidly to a fabricated firewall and braced. It itself is structural. But actually, because we're carrying, it, we've made a hybrid system. So we, we have a great relationship with Skeleton, who make uh, super capacitors. And you can see their modules there. So you've got the energy store there. And then at the back, here is the motor, what they call an MGU, motor generating unit. So that's the motor, which is about um, 45 kilowatts, 60 odd horsepower. So, and you can, you can see the back of the car is uh, all Indy car, basically. Apart from the brakes. Normally they're carbon on uh, Indy car, but we actually made steel brakes. So it's balanced with the foot. So, and if you come inside, it's a two-seater. So, um, so that we can scare people. And it uses the Indy car wheel. It's got all the Indy car electronics underneath it, really. And uh, super safe. You can look at the roll cage, this thing is designed to be super safe. We have, um, we have front splitter, rear wing, we got, um, we got a proper diffuser. So normally you make most of the um, efficient aerodynamic downforce from the diffuser. So we have a real diffuser. So uh, yeah, and I'm, we need to make it bigger. Bigger is good. And then um, there's some other cool stuff. The um, if you look on top of the car, there's an image of the engine, which is on top of the car. Then the, what? You see everything there, we've got the beast, which being cool. All the diffuser, etc. So just in case you need to carry your SUP, your bike, it's got a carbon roof rack as well. Because you may need that, you know, with, so. That's the same design as the CRV, just made out of carbon. You and all the fine men and women and everybody who work at HPD, y'all are effing crazy, and we love you for it. So thank you for yet again doing something that is fun and different and going to get more folks to care about what we're doing here in IndyCar. Well, that's the point. And also, we got a huge car culture, huge amount of fans. So thank you to our fans, and we just want to make make it where people can go wow. We want to go wow, don't we? So. Wow. Thank you. Wow.